This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, October 12th. If you're looking to book a Royal Caribbean cruise of 15 nights or longer, you'll now face a higher deposit and earlier final payment date. According to a letter sent to book guests and travel partners, final payments will now be due 120 days prior to the voyage. Previously, guests had until 90 days to make the final payment. In addition, the letter indicated a, quote, higher deposit amount would be required on sailings 15 nights or longer, although it did not get into specifics on how much the changes will not impact guests already booked. And Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings intends to secure a $790 million loan using 14 of its cruise ships as collateral with a maturity date uh, set for 2029 and an annual interest rate of 7.75%. The bond will be used to settle existing debt. Now, as of Q2, NCL carried $13.1 billion in debt, the lowest actually out of the big three cruise operators. And Grand Bahama Shipyard in Freeport, Bahamas is undergoing a $600 million transformation project, which will include the addition of two world-class floating dry docks, aiming to reestablish itself as a global cruise ship repair facility. The floating docks will enable the yard to service every cruise ship built out there, including Icon and Oasis-class ships. This expansion follows a brief setback when a crane collapsed on Oasis of the Seas at dry dock number two, injuring several shipyard workers. Royal Caribbean and Carnival are part owners of the Grand Bahama shipyard. And cruise line stocks were down on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation down 2%, 12.65. Royal Caribbean down slightly, 89.24. And NCL down 5.7%, 15.66. This week's podcast, a review of Disney Wonder at cruiseradio.net. Have a lead on a story, send it my way, tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Thursday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.